Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I'm gonna to be answering a question, sort of answering a question. I got a question about how to learn the Unreal Gaming Engine. And just to let you know, what I'm gonna talk about is a general approach that I would take to do this, not specific to Unreal itself, because I don't know the Unreal Gaming Engine, but I can tell you how to learn things. That's what I'm good at. I can pick up something and teach you how, and I'm, I'm gonna discuss that here in a minute. Before I get into that though, I do wanna take a moment to thank one of our sponsors, a simple programmer, which is Hire.com. You can check them out if you go to Hire.com for just simple programmer. I'll tell you why you wanna use that link in a second here. But basically what they do is that they make it a lot easier for you to get a job or to do your job search, really. If you go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer and you fill out a simple application one time, what ends up happening is that if you're a good match, an employer will contact you, actually multiple employers will contact you and offer you an interview. That's that's so simple. I love it. That's what, Maybe that's why I love it so much is because it's so damn simple. That's how it should work. But that's what they do. They simplify things for you. So go check it out. Go to Simple Programmer or go to Hire.com forward slash Simple Programmer. And if you use that link, if you do get a job through Hired, instead of giving you $1,000, they'll give you like $2,000, which is pretty cool. So thanks Hired for, for offering that to, to my audience here. And there's one more thing I was going to say about Hired. Oh, oh yes. So they all only exist in certain geographic areas right now. That's their market. I, I don't know exactly where it is, and they are very picky, so I just wanna let you know up front. Don't feel bad if you get rejected. There's a lot of reasons why you might not make it onto the platform. Some of it is maybe you're just not qualified, but a lot of it probably has to do with the, you know, this, the particular matchup of where they have their employers and what skills they're looking for, and they can't really reveal that information up front. So don't be offended You know, if you, if you don't get in the platform, keep trying, and, and yeah. So anyway, <laughs> go check it out, uh, hire.com slash simple programmer. All right, let's talk about how to learn Unreal Gaming Engine, something I don't really know a lot about. I know about gaming engines. I've, I've written some games and stuff. I've taught some courses on games, but Unreal itself, nah, not, not so much. But that doesn't mean that I can't show you how to, how to do this or talk about this. So from Raymond, and he says, good morning, John. How ho, or hope all is well. I watch your video on why life is un, so unfair. There you go. There's the why is life so unfair? Friggin' watch that every morning. Great video. He says great in capitals, by the way. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Got a question for you. I'm looking to learn how to use the Unreal Gaming Engine. Once uh, I uh, let's see. One I, plan, uh, one, I plan to teach a course to a community I am part of. Two, ultimately, I want to develop video games and start my own game development company. What would be a good book you'd recommend for beginners? Thanks. Okay, so I don't know of a good book for Unreal, right? But this is what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how that you could you could learn. So if I were looking for just a book, right? I mean, just, just to give you basic tips here, I would go to amazon.com. I would look for the, highly, the highest rated reviewed books that have a decent amount of ratings and that's that's how I would you know suss that out but that's probably not your best source right D again I talk about this a lot book knowledge just learning from books reading books to cover to cover is not usually the best way to learn something but instead one of the best ways to learn something is to go and look for people that are actually already doing it and to figure out a way that you can put it into practice so you know I, I know this seems a little bit weird right but but hear me out here what I would recommend that you do is do some rudimentary research on the on the subject. And a lot of what I'm talking about here is the same stuff that I talk about in my 10 Steps to Learn Anything Quickly course, by the way. I just go into a little bit more detail there. But because this is the process, this is the best way to learn something quickly, is you go and you do a little bit of rudimentary research and you figure out, maybe you skim a few books, maybe you go to Barnes & Noble or wherever and you, you skim a few books on the topic or you, or you look online or maybe even buy a few books. It depends on how, how serious you are. Sometimes if I want to research something, I just buy a bunch of books and I just skim through them. I don't, I'm going to read them you know, all the way and I might just toss some of them out because I'm willing to spend the money to learn something to, to get the value from it. But essentially, go and get a big picture idea of this, this Unreal Gaming Engine. What is the general concept? What programming languages do you use? What kind of frameworks, okay? And, and, and figure out what it's kind of about. Then go 
and look for some communities, some places where people talk about the gaming engine, where you could maybe find a forum where you could get help, Stack Overflow, anyone, you know, there's probably some, some forums for that. And then the next thing I would do is I would find a basic tutorial on how to get started, just how to get started with Unreal, right? See if you can, you, you don't need all the in-depth, you don't need all the like details at this point, just enough to get your, your development environment set up and started. And then, then go ahead and just figure out some basic game that you're gonna create with this gaming engine, okay? So, you know, maybe it's Pong. <laughs> I don't know if you can do Pong in Unreal. I don't know, maybe you can, right? Or maybe it's just like a simple Doom clone that's gonna have one level where you're just gonna, you know, roll around. You're not even gonna worry about the graphics and you're just gonna be able to maybe shoot and kill something, right? Come up with the simplest idea that you can that's gonna let you actually implement and, and do something on Unreal. Now, there's a couple reasons why I'm gonna suggest this here, okay? One of them is this, because if you start with, with this, what's gonna happen, I talk about this all the time, is that you're gonna change, you're gonna transform the learning process, right? A lot of people, they read books and they try to memorize all this stuff and, and that, that doesn't work. But if you're doing, if you're actually doing, that's the best way to learn. So what you wanna do here is you want to actually start creating a game and then you're gonna, you're gonna get stumped. You're gonna be like, shit, I don't even, I have no clue how to do this. So you're gonna go and you're gonna do a little bit of research. Now you're gonna crack open some of your books. Now you're gonna go and look at some tutorials. Now you're gonna go and ask people for some help or some guidance and you're gonna figure it out. Now you're gonna pull some of these tools out and be like, oh, okay, I could do this, right? You're gonna search for specific problems that you have, right? This is the key. You're searching for specific problems that you have and finding the answer. Now, whether that be because you're searching for those problems in a book, you're searching on the internet, you're asking people on forums or people that you know, right? This is another good source if you know someone who's actually doing this. But w w what's gonna happen when you do that, when you ask those specific questions, is the answer that you're gonna get, you're gonna understand. It's gonna make more sense, right? And when you read a book, the problem with learning, with just reading a book straight through, is that you don't know what's important. You don't know what's good and it doesn't stick in your memory. You don't gain this uh, understanding. But when you have a question that you form because you're stuck, because you're trying to make this very basic game, all right, and you've, you've learned enough to get started. That, that part you need to know, you don't wanna fumble your way through that. But you, you've gotten to that point where you're trying to make the game, you're trying to, I don't know, how do I put, how do I make the walls for the, for the level, right? You've got, now you've got a question. But when you do that, and then you get the answers to those questions, those things are gonna stick with you, you're gonna gain that full understanding, so it's gonna accelerate your learning. Now the second reason why I recommend creating a small game like that is because it's gonna give you so much momentum and confidence, right? Because you can be like trying to learn something like this, like let's say the Unreal Gaming Engine, and you're reading all this stuff and you're playing, like doing some tutorials and doing like little minor minor things, but you don't feel confident. You're like, oh, it's too much, I'm overwhelmed, I don't, I don't get it. But I guarantee you, if you make this little, little simple game, right, just this little simple game, and it runs, and it works, and even though it's so simple, it's just like one screen, you know, just like one level that you can go around and you can shoot one guy and kill him. If you do that, you're gonna be thrilled. You're gonna feel so good about yourself. You're gonna get momentum and that's gonna carry you through because one of the biggest problems we have with succeeding in life and in, in anything that we're pursuing is we don't have momentum. We, we lose some motivation. We, it's not that we can't do it. It's that we give up too soon. And so anything you can do to give yourself mo momentum, you can watch a video I did on momentum, how important momentum is, but anything that you can do that's gonna give you momentum, that, that is gonna be really important because that's compliance. That's, that's gonna be actually do what you need to do to succeed. So hopefully this video was still useful to you even though I haven't given you specifics about Unreal Gaming Engine because I don't know about Unreal Gaming Engine but maybe you can use this as a framework for learning things like this where you know you gotta think about it like what is the best way I'll give you one last piece of advice here just so you can solve these problems for yourself which is when you're gonna learn something Think about the best way, like spend the time to plan it and say, what will be the best way to learn this, right? Again, I put together that 10 steps to learn anything quickly course, which you can check out here, because I've, I found out that that's what I need to do is I need to have a plan, not just cracking books, not just writing code, right? It's like, come up with a plan. And in that course, I talk about how you set up modules for yourself, like you're teaching yourself, like you're the professor teaching yourself, and you set up, you create your own learning plan, and that's, that's one of the keys that, that makes it so that you know what to do, and you know, that little bit of prep time makes that learning so much more rapid, and you have a lot more success. 
I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and you will get all the videos that I do, right? You don't have to watch them all, but you can if you like. I do videos on all kinds of topics, uh, mostly focused around the idea of improving your life, your career, everything that is important to you as a software developer and a human being, and I would love it if you join the community and subscribe. So click on the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.